When I first came to UNC Charlotte to teach, straight from grad school, all I knew about was the value of a well-crafted lecture. I knew nothing else about teaching. So I went to the CTL, they put a clicker in my hand, they taught me how to use it, they taught me the value that it had in engaging students, and that was just the first thing that they showed me. So we decided to redesign the STATS 1222 course. We worked very closely with the Center for Teaching and Learning instructional designers, and what they did for us, among the many things they did for us, was they helped us make a coherent course where our software worked together with our Canvas presence, worked together with what we were doing in the classroom. Then they kept us so that we had a coherent package to give the students, where the students could make sense of what they were having in class and easily see the way that it tied into Canvas and easily see the way that tied into our software. When I started incorporating active learning pedagogy in my classroom, I started making small changes, such as adding poll everywhere questions in between lectures. Hence, instead of giving a full hour of lecture, I broke it into 10 to 15 minutes mini lectures. And after making small changes, during a couple of semesters, I started making big changes. I transformed my traditional teaching instructions into active learning pedagogies. For our Statistics 1222, for example, uh, we started making short videos to introduce basic information, vocabulary, and formulas to students and assigned to them to be completed before coming to class. This has helped uh, students to take away uh, more knowledge from uh, what was being taught in class uh, because they tend to remember more about working out the problem than copying my solutions on their notes. As a result of CTL training, I was able to revise my course syllabus in an evidence-based way to promote diversity and support equity, student sense of belonging, growth mindset in student abilities, and their perceptions about the degree to which their instructors believe that every student can learn and grow their skills in the course. So same thing for social science and any other majors, uh, statistics and data science is a very important tool. If they can know how to use it, it will be very useful. As you can see, there's a SDG goal, sustainable development goals. There's a 17 different goals and 169 sub goals. During this uh, time, students will be work on the SDG goals. We, every, each semester, there will be three goals, three projects they have to do together as a group. And they have to find the problems, what is problem in the society or in the world. And based on the real life situation, they find the problem and they find the solution. It. So that really helps them to like, like the subject and also learn the new tools. So I'm so glad they find something that they enjoy and they can see the data set in their life, uh, everything. And uh, like I can see that they, when they do the project, they will become very, very happy and engaging. And I can see that the mindset is also changes throughout the semester too.